of our professors, Bill Prosser and I were in conversation about how to uh, involve the students more in what is taking place in the business world. And from that conversation, he came up with the idea of taking the students to businesses and have a business presentation at that organization. The feedback that I've received from students is extremely positive. They get to meet real business owners and hear the stories that the business owners have, have to tell uh, about their business, and wh whether it be a marketing function that they're performing or setting up their business. Uh, it's just real hands-on learning. How did you break into the market? How do you go about starting to buy a business? New entrepreneurs have a lot of questions. Over the past year, professors at Cayuga Community College, with support from the Coleman Foundation and the Kaufman Foundation, helped answer those questions by taking students on the Entrepreneurial Road Trip Series. We've done a couple of these road trips, and in the fall, we had a beautiful day, fall day, and we actually went to visit some of the agricultural businesses in the region. And it was great because it got us out of the classroom, obviously, but we actually talked to people in their settings of their business about how they got started and where they are with their business currently. So we met people who literally had just started a business in the past five, six years, to people that have been running a business for decades, to generations of family. Uh, Beacon Skiff, for example, has a a business that's been, it's a century old and it's been going through five centuries of, uh, five generations of their family. So it was very interesting and the most recent road trip we took was to tourist hot spots in Cayuga County and we talked to mostly the marketing directors at those places because that's a, a real challenge is to try to get information out there about your tourist spot so people come to see you. Over the course of four road trips, Budding entrepreneurs toured area businesses, met with business owners, and were immersed in the entrepreneurial experience. What I liked best about the road trip was being able to interact and ask questions from each of the uh, participating businesses. It gave a different aspect of what to expect when you got out into the business world, and as far as Central New York, uh, how they market and conduct business. Road trip businesses who opened their doors to Cayuga students included Finger Lakes and Auburn businesses like Welch Allen, Tessie Plastics, 4M Precision, the Aurora Inn, and the Dr. Constantine Frank Winery. I think these road trips have been a benefit to students because it gives students a chance to hear from somebody about the challenges of starting up a business, uh, but also to see in a very positive way how it's possible to get a small business to grow into a big business or maybe even to keep a business, uh, even if it's small, to keep it viable in today's economy. And they hear from the people firsthand about the challenges of doing so. Student entrepreneurs also attended a panel discussion with Finger Lakes entrepreneurs and had a chance to listen to real business owners of local companies. The Entrepreneur Road Trip is uh, where you go to see different businesses, you walk in, they show you how they manufacture things or if, how they do their service, uh, how do they branch out, who do they look for, their marketing. Um, they also teach us how they started off, their history, and where their funding comes from. Designed to inspire students and community members to start their own businesses, the entrepreneurial road trips gave students exposure to real businesses and the entrepreneurs who run them. I believe the reason the entrepreneurial road trip has been so successful is because of the funding that has been provided by the Coleman Foundation. Without their support, this would not have happened. So again, thank you to the Coleman Foundation.